I just, I just find it someone, someone like you, I'm not saying I can't guarantee that you're gonna be successful. Nobody can, but someone like you with a work ethic, willing to juggle a bunch of stuff is committed to picking up and buying books and reading, investing in leads, learning from others, um, putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. Like I can, no, nobody's going to be just jumping in the industry and comfortable jumping on a podcast like this. Like yeah. you're doing a lot of stuff that yeah. is a testament to the, the reasons why you will most likely be successful. So kudos Thank to you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome back for another Rising Star podcast episode, live every Friday, 8 a.m. Central Center Time. This is number three. We're going to keep bringing them out every single week, every Friday. I'm loving this. Okay. Well, today we have Camille Clark, yes. who's new to the industry. Yes. Thank you. Welcome, Camille. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Yeah, I'm excited. So Dylan, I've got my 8% Rising Star wristband on. We got to get Camille <laughs> a rising star wristband since she is a rising star. She's even in the rising star program. I am. So thank you for that. Yeah. How's that been so far? It's been good. I honestly was so upset with myself because I missed not this Monday, but last Monday. Okay. Because I just started like three Mondays ago. Yes. So I hadn't got into a routine of it yet. But yeah, it's going good. I like the people that you bring on. Cool. The first person prior to two weeks ago. Yes. I don't know. I don't remember his name, but he did like background checks. Oh, Chris stuff. Bryan. I thought that Out was really Tulsa. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought that was really cool. Yeah. He does like the whole ethics certificate is what yeah. he uses to, yeah, to, to help him in, in the sales process, which is cool. Yeah. Very unique. I thought unique. that was awesome. Um, yeah. It is really cool. All right. So how long have you been in the industry? I got my license in October. Okay. Of this year. Yeah. Well. Right. Well, 2020. Technically One. last year. <laughs> she got me already. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. October 2021. We are in 2022. That's true. Um, so just a few months. Yep, just what, a few months. What part of October? Early, middle, L late? Late October. Late like, October? Like Chris, um, So Halloween. you've really been licensed like two and a half months. Right. Wow. That's awesome. So still very early. Very early. I love it. What do you think? Okay, I was fixing what do you think so far, but you love it. Oh, I love it. I'm yeah. so excited for when I can be fully on insurance and not on anything else. Yes. Because I still have a full-time job right now. Okay, what do you do? I do quality assurance work. Okay. Call center? Bank. Mm, yeah, well, I work from home. Okay, sweet. Yeah, Good. for Bank of America. Good. And Sorry, I've... Bank of America. She's going to be leaving soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that was a blessing. I prayed for that job that I was able to get a job to work from home and be with my kids. So do That's that cool. full time, my kids full time. And now I'm doing this. Wow. And I'm so excited. And you still find time for insurance. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's awesome. It's a choice. There are so many choices you can make in a day. Come on now. That's so good. If we had bombs, we would start dropping them. That's all <laughs> solid. Uh, yeah. And, and you can tell. She, I don't know. She, I don't know if, if, if what, what the audience thinks but or what you think, but you seem very comfortable. You're doing a phenomenal job, um, not only in the industry, but also just jumping in on camera in a podcast two and a half months in the industry. Is it, it kind of terrifying? Um, It's terrifying to know that people will watch but you guys aren't watching right but other than that it's great no i'm excited for this opportunity cool to get people to meet me and to hopefully have other opportunities that i can succeed and learn i just want to yes. learn as much as i can yes yeah also if you're watching this okay give camille some love in the comments tell her how awesome she's doing welcome her to the industry two and a half months in um what's been the experience been like i'm guessing it's not been necessarily easy because it's not you know well, it just depends how you want to go you know like yep. i'm an independent agent if you wanted to work yes. for like a corporation you would only be able to sell their product so i think yep. it depends on which way you get into it <clears throat> that's a good point um the only setback really is waiting for leads to come in mm -hmm. i bought leads i got a couple back i didn't get my like one percent return sorry i keep hitting this thing oh you're good but I normally move the mic like 4,000 times. It drives okay, Dylan nuts. I don't nuts. know if you can like hear it or not. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Probably, probably not. So, you, so you, you bought uh, leads. I bought some leads. I only got five back so far. Made two sales off of those. Made another sale just from a friend of mine for a life policy. Um, you got two sales off of leads? So or, far. Or one? Two, two of the five? Yeah, That's so far. Great. I have an That's appointment awesome. tomorrow at uh, oh. 1030. For so you me. made up a three. Hopefully. That's God great. willing, I yeah, will. For yeah. sure. So 40% close, well, two right now, 40% closing rate off of leads is phenomenal, by the way. But you have to remember that lady canceled. 
Ah, okay. So technically, it's Dallas's fault. Two. No, it no. <laughs> So, okay. so helpful. Yeah, two sell, one canceled, uh, and then warm market sell. What kind of sell was that? Have they all been life? Um, I did final expense for the lady that canceled and the other successful sale. Yep. So my friend is just a life policy, though, technically Good. term. So Good. I love it. Yeah. I have messaged, you know, because you're not serious about prospecting if you can't write down 100 people. Ah. So I'm writing people down. I'm, like, messaging them on Facebook. I'm, like, trying to. Is that one my fault? That's what? your fault. Yeah. You said yeah. 500 people, though. I, I don't know that many people. <laughs> I did. I did. That's a lot, right? But I I don't even have a full hundred, but I just kept writing it down, kept messaging people. Not really any nibbles, but yep. you know, you just get back out there and... What are you saying um, when you're approaching? Are you texting, calling? Like a Facebook message, generally. Okay, good. Just like friends on Facebook, Facebook and stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Like, hi. If they know who I am, then obviously I don't introduce myself, but yep. I recently just got my insurance license. I'd be more than happy to help you and your family with your needs. Cool. Something like that. Yeah. And somebody's it's, somebody's going to respond and be able to like help, right? I mean, you're going to be able to help somebody, which is cool. Right. Yeah, which is awesome. Um, okay, so you've gotten five leads. Did you call, door knock? How did we, you approach the leads? We door knocked the first okay. two. And you got in both? We got... Well, okay. So we door knocked. We okay. got into three people answer the door. Okay, good. One one lady said, no, I already have a policy. I'm not feeling good. So we went, we didn't get inside. Okay. First lady we sold, second lady we sold, and then the second lady with the birds called me back and canceled. Got it. So that's what happened with that thing. Okay, good, good. But three answered and you got in two. Yep. Technically sold two initially, yep. right? Obviously kept one. Um, what was the pitch? Was Were you... I know you, you had took a veteran agent with you. It is Dallas. Good buddy Dallas by the name is of the Dallas. Bitch. Yes, yes, that's right. That was <laughs> he, him. He was doing it. Really? Like he, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, because the first lady, I can't sit here and say, oh, it was me 100% because it wasn't. The first lady, she you was reluctant. Give Dallas any credit at all. No. He's going to watch this, but Dallas, come on. Okay. <laughs> the first lady, she didn't really want us to go inside or anything. And, you know, what do they want? They want you to just mail it out to them. Correct. A quote. And Correct. he said, no, ma'am, you know, I'm partnered with. 60 different carriers. I'd love to come inside and just chat with you for a couple minutes. A couple minutes ended up being an hour and we made the sale. So mm. that was great. You know, she didn't feel like we were intruding or anything yes. after we were able to get inside and she kind of felt a, felt what we were about, you know. Correct. What did he say at the door? Do you remember? Like when she answered. Something along that line, you know, when she said, can you just mail it to me? That's okay. what he said. Oh, was. she said, can you mail it to me when you were face to face with it? Yeah. Her? Like, can you just send me in the wow. mail like a quote? Of how much it'll be. And then he rebuttaled and said, no, I'm partnered with so many people. I'm unable to do that. And I thought that that was really clever. I, Whenever Smart. I called um, the lady that I have an appointment with tomorrow, she too was reluctant and yes. wanted me to just send her a quote. And I used what Dallas said. And I just said, I'm partnered with 15 carriers. You know, I'd mm -hmm. be more than happy to just come and chat with you for 10 minutes and find out what works best for you. And she let me set an appointment and I see her tomorrow. So. Boom. Yeah. I love it. Why insurance? Well... Obviously, my dad was a factor in that, persuading me because he was in the insurance business for a long time. But How long was he in it? Um, I would say like 25 years. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's good. We've got something in common there. Yeah. Ultimately, the aspect of being able to be your own boss is yes. the most appealing thing. And of course, being able to help people with things that everybody needs. Everybody needs life insurance. Everybody needs health insurance. Correct. So. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, also, what was your initial, I mean, because obviously you came in the business with Craig Burry, right? right? He's helped you get there. Um, what was your initial thought when you were joined, when you decided, okay, I think I'm going to actually do this thing. Like, what was the initial thought when you were deciding to join the industry? Honestly, earlier this year, I just kind of decided that I'm going to do it. There yep. wasn't really a... To be honest, Cody, whenever I saw your, I made $100,000 in my first year, I was like, hmm, I could do that. Yes. <laughs> let's yes. figure out how he did that and let's do what he did. Cool. You know, so I just started yeah. studying. I failed my test twice, took it twice. I did too. So, hey, here we are. Yeah. Did you pass the third time? <laughs> no, I passed the second time. Oh, you passed time. the second time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I failed twice. I, 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 did, I didn't pass it till the third time. Really? I've, I've actually, there's a gentleman in Florida that is Haitian. Okay. And they don't have the test in, in, in Haitian, right? Mm -hmm. um, if I'm even saying that correct. 
He failed the test like 17 times. I thought that you could only take it so many times a year before you have to wait until the next year. I don't know, but maybe Florida's different. But I know that like whatever it was, it, it was over a long period of time. Yeah. But the dude didn't quit. He didn't quit. He kept persisting, which is cool. That's what matters. You yeah. don't, when you fail, you just get back up. That's right. You know. What's some examples in, in, in life where you have done that personally or you've seen someone else do that where they went through something, they could have quit, maybe they, you know, but they didn't and they persisted through that. Is there an example of that that you can think of? I'm going to give you two examples. Okay, two. So okay, the good. first example, my husband, he's a mechanic and they have to take certain qualifications. Yes. Like an ASC qualification and an inspection qualification and mm -hmm. stuff like that. <clears throat> so he failed his inspection. Love you, Michael. <laughs> he failed his inspection test. Dude, she's like, putting you out there for the world now. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know, like five times. And yeah. I was just like, babe, you got this. Like, don't, you know, the next one you'll pass, you'll pass, you'll pass. And he did. Yeah. And my dad too, growing up, I mean... He's a he's a very hard worker. I mean, even to this day, he's 76 years old, still gets on the tractor, still bails hay, wow. fixes fences, goes out there and does That's the thing. Awesome. So I've That's been so around cool. a lot of hardworking people. Yes. And has that helped your own personal work ethic? Uh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I honestly, I mean, I've had a job ever since I could work. Yep. When I was 14, um, a buddy from school kind of let me work for his family's restaurant. Okay. You know, and got paid under the table just because I wanted my own money. Yes. But so you've I've always kind of like been that way too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. Um, do you feel like, how's it been where you are? Because I can relate to juggling. You're juggling multiple things. Yeah. I can't relate to juggling kids. <laughs> but when I was 20, I was playing basketball and going to school and selling insurance, right? Right. You're working full time for Bank of America at home. You've also got two kids, yeah. uh, really three if you include your husband. My wife yeah. would consider me uh, Sometimes. Her, her, her baby, <laughs> I guess, right? Uh, and then, and you're still selling insurance as well, yeah. trying to get this career off the ground. Um, do you think, I actually think for someone that will be organized and put in the work, I actually thrive personally off of being really busy and having a lot going on and juggling a lot versus not having a lot going on. Yeah. Can you relate to that? And what, what's your experience been like when you think about that? I mean, yeah, kids are a lot. It's 24-7 yeah. all day long, 10 p.m., midnight, Jeez. 3 a.m., Sounds I mean, mine are still little. Once they become, you know, yeah. seven, ten, they'll sleep throughout the night and they'll want to play in their room and stuff. But she's convincing me not to have kids still, and that's what no, she's doing. You and your wife should have just at kidding. least one kid. That's awesome. Um, we should. You're right. You should just one, because dogs don't compare. Well, if yep. you have a dog, I don't know. We do. But... We do have a little dog, little Teddy, little uh, Maltese Vachon. Okay. Um, yeah, he's cool. He's awesome. But he's probably not the same as a human, right? right? So. Oh. What I would say, like, for my jumping point and me really wanting to get something together for myself, aside from, you know, me working yep. as a quality assurance agent, when I turned 23 last year, I was just like, man, what have I done with my... Since you, when did you graduate high school, you know, it's kind of like you're free. Yeah. What are you going to do now? Yeah, it's now a weird Now you feeling. are the pilot. Yeah. Right? So I just was like, man, I didn't do anything with myself last year. You know, okay, I had a baby and... And now what? Now what else do I do for yes. myself and for my family and for my career? Mm. You know? Yeah. I want my daughter to be like, man, mommy is a hard worker. You know, she gets out there and she gets it. Yes. But really just myself, I always feel that way. Like, what could I have done today that I didn't do? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm just like, that's just how I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what have you learned as a quality assurance rep <laughs> that you can translate that you have translated or that you're going to into this industry? So I love my job and I'm very grateful for it. I yeah. wouldn't say that my particular role that I'm in really puts me in a better position to be an agent. Okay. I would say though, for anybody wanting to be an agent, customer service experience, mm. 100%. You like that, okay, that's good. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily, I ser necessarily say I like that. Sure. Edit that out. Okay. Me saying necessarily 20 times. <laughs> got it. Dude, I got a bunch of habits you got to take out too then. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily say that I like that. Yeah. However, it really, you know, puts into perspective you dealing with people all the time. You know, yes. and it gives you another heart for it, I would say. Yeah. 
you know? Yeah. Like, for example, I had to call, I'm not going to say the name of the company. I had to call a corporation the other day and they say, how can I help you? Not, mm -hmm. hi, this is Sally. Thank you for calling so-and-so today. Mm. How may I assist you? It's all in... How that was you solid, break. by the way. I can tell you've done that a lot as a call. But it's true. Yeah. You know, when you call someone, you want to know, who are you? Who am I talking to? Yes. You know, so I kind of was like, girl, you got to get yourself together. You can't just, hi, can't, <laughs> how can I help you? You know, Coach introduce Camille. yourself. How are you today? Yeah. What can I do to assist you, ma'am? You know, That's just little good. things like that that you learn in customer yes. service if you want to learn it. Correct. You know, yeah. and yeah. if you want to be better. But yeah, yes. everybody needs customer service experience. That's really good. I, I actually, that makes a lot of sense. Um, what do you think that you are naturally good at? Talking to people. That helps you in this industry. Talking yeah. to people. Feeling okay. people out. Yep. You know, you can fit in with a lot of different crowds, feeling people out, you know. Yes. And when you're an insurance agent, you f talk to a lot of different people. Yeah, you do. You can't be, I mean, yes, always be authentic and be yourself, but right. you can't. I don't know how to word that. Help well, me. No, uh, that's good because well, I mean, one of the things I think of when, when you're saying that is I can see you, you naturally um, are good with people, building rapport. You don't talk. You can talk, but you don't talk too much. You don't talk a lot, which actually deep down that actually makes you a better closer in, in actually closing business later, um, which I think is a lot like me. Like I can talk for hours if I need to. Right. But deep down when I'm sitting with a client, like I talk a lot less than they do. You know, well, that's like pays off. Brian Tracy's book, The Art of Closing the Sale. It's the people that are listening and you build yes. trust. And then people that tend to trust you more will tend to buy from you more. Correct. And it's the people that ask questions. Yeah. Are the ones that are in control of the conversation. Yes. How'd you hear his book, by the way? <sighs> I love that book. She's talking about Brian Tracy's The I'm, Art of you, Closing the Cody. Sale. It was me. Okay. Yes. Okay. I watched a lot of your videos. Okay. I'm it's just okay trying to, to admit that. I'm by just the trying way. to learn. <laughs> You know? I love that. No, I think that's impressive. There's a lot of people that I've said that book a lot, by the way. I assumed it was probably me, but I wanted them to hear it because a lot it's of people listening book. that haven't read it or you listened to, to it. You need to. You need to read it. It's literally one of, from a content standpoint, it's one of my favorite sales books. Yeah. And the first three, like the introductory is just like you getting ready, like in the mindset to be successful. Correct. And what you should do is if you are reading it, I went back to start over and take mm -hmm. notes just the other day. I was like, man, I, there's a lot of stuff I should have written down. Mm. If you think it, ink it. <laughs> think it ink it that's, that's right yeah. yeah did you watch the interview i did with him yeah. is that where you got that yeah dude she's she, she's she, she's serious about this thing i was actually gonna ask you a question I, this is this is a testament to you by the way i was gonna ask you a question about like what are you learning watching reading while well, you're sharing that now because and i love that like you're hearing someone me as an example say this is a great book you should listen to it there's 50,000 people watching this thing that haven't probably listened. They've heard it's me like say $10. that. And they haven't listened to the book yet. Yeah. You heard read it, it. Watch it on Read it on your phone. That's all I do. I read it on my phone or I get my computer and I take notes. So you are physically reading. Well, on my computer. Yeah. 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 I'm not yeah. listening to the audio book. Good. No. Good. That's awesome. I'm actually started to force myself to read more. Yeah. I, I said that yesterday on another uh, episode. I am naturally always been a listener. Mm. When it comes to books, but I am forced. I'm reading. That's think, interesting. Think and grow rich, but I'm forcing myself to read right now. But I've never really read that much. Hmm. Full transparency, I should have. Yeah, I was wrong, but I haven't. But it's actually, I'm actually liking it because I'm, I'm starting. I'm ending every night and starting every morning with reading and planning for my day. Yeah, right. Writing down my goals, going over to do list, looking at my calendar. Okay, I've got that meeting at one. Oh my gosh, I'm not prepared. Let's right. take a few minutes and prep, right? Yeah. So I just I just find it someone someone like you. I'm not saying I can't guarantee that you're gonna be successful. Nobody can, but someone like you with a work ethic, willing to juggle a bunch of stuff, is committed to picking up and buying books and reading, investing in leads, learning from others. Um, putting yourself outside of your comfort zone, like I can, no, nobody's going to be just jumping in the industry and comfortable jumping on a podcast like this. Like yeah. you're, you're doing a lot of stuff that yeah. is a testament to the the reasons why you will most likely be successful. So kudos Thank to you. you. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I could take this so many different directions. I'm thinking about a bazillion questions. Uh, when it comes to the industry, what's something that you've specifically learned that? you would like to share with other agents that you believe could help them as well, that maybe other people don't know that you've personally picked up? I wouldn't say personally picked up. Okay. I would say I used your intro whenever I was making that call 
You know, you yes. don't say, hi, is this Betty? You say, hi, ah. Betty, this is so-and-so. I'm getting back to you on, you know? Yes. So yes. I would say that's really helpful. There's, I haven't really been in long enough to been on my own sure. because Dallas helps me a lot, you know? Yep. Um, for me to have really an experience that I could share. Correct. I really don't have one yet. Okay. What's well, something you've picked up from somebody else that, hey, Brian Tracy, me, whoever, Craig Burry, whoever, your dad, whoever, that like you've seen or heard and and you've, or from Dallas, and you picked it up and you have started to apply it into what you do. You just gave one example with a script. Can you think of anything else? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I would just say really like your personality. Like okay. Dallas is a very positive person. You cannot get him to talk bad. Dallas? No, you kidding. cannot. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's important because people that are successful. He's got one of the best personalities of He really ever does. Meet, by the way. Like you know? he's so personable. He's very nice. Yeah. He is. How do you think that relates and translates? Like when you watch him with his personality out in the field talking to people, what do you learn when you're witnessing that? That's just, you know, people are going to trust them more whenever you have a pleasant yeah. personality. And Brian Tracy's book even says it, your sale is ultimately 80% of your personality and 20% mm. of your knowledge on what you're selling. So I feel like, that's good. you know, you've got to go out there. You've got to be personable. Don't be fake. Don't be unauthentic. Don't try to get under on people. Just be a good person. Yes. And things will work out for you. Yes. I mean, not saying that we're not all going to struggle in our lives. We for sure, sure are going to. No doubt. But no doubt about it. You just um, persevere. Yeah. And, and does, does that make you feel better about this career when you hear that it's 80% you and your personality versus 20% what you actually know? Does that make, because when most people come to the industry, they're like freaking out. They need to know everything before they do anything. I feel like experience is your best teacher. Mm. I do think your personality plays a, a really <clears throat> big part in that, obviously, from what I just said, but yes. You can't go in there and be all nice and happy and not know anything about your product. They're not going to yeah. buy from you. Correct. They can't trust that you're knowledgeable on what you're selling them. Yes. Smart. Yeah. What, what's one area you're looking to improve at this year in 2022? <laughs> if you had to say, okay, this is one, you smiled, you laughed. Is there something that popped? All of them. Okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just super new. I don't really yeah. know much. I'd love to. See more people. See more people. Naturally. I'd love to just get out there and do it. It's just hard right now because I'm kind of in like, I'm like a waiting duck. I'm waiting for my leads to come in. I'm waiting to go out there and make the move. Yes. You know, yeah, I could go door knock. Then I have to get a babysitter. You know what I mean? Yep. Not not trying to make an excuse for it, but it sure, is. Sure. And you, you, know? you sent out, when you did the leads, you sent out a thousand leads. Sent out a thousand leads. But I only got five. So far. She honestly ah. is so sweet and sent out another thousand to another location for me for free oh wow yeah so i should be getting those back in three weeks that's I, amazing i bought some cheap little 12 dollars leads from secure cool and i should get those good. back this week good i printed out flyers i went and put my flyers on people's doors really yeah i'm I thinking about making like hoodies and stuff just to wear them like yeah. out and about because you never know someone Don't could be know. like oh janice you see that lady over there she's selling insurance you might want to go ask her <laughs> it's true. You know? It's thinking outside the box is being creative. Too, yeah. You know? You got to be your own advertisement. Yes. Yes, you do. Um, would you say, what would you say is more important? Um, prospecting and focusing on getting in front of people or being better from a skill standpoint once you're in front of them? I, I think both. I think the okay. more you're able to do for someone, the better. If mm -hmm. you can help Janice with life insurance, health insurance, dental, her annuity plan, yep. rather than just no life insurance, you know what I mean? Yep. Not only are you helping her more, but you're also getting more money in your pocket. Yeah. So. It's good. Um, is there a question you would like to ask me that hmm. maybe you haven't thought of, maybe you have thought of, or it's crossed your mind, you've thought about asking, or or it's a good time to ask because other agents could learn from the question maybe. Um, is there anything you can think of in that respect? I've never done that before, but. I don't have a question to ask okay. you though, Cody. Okay. I'm sorry, I wish That's I okay. did. That's I don't, fine. I've honestly like just watched so much information. Mm -hmm. I don't have a question that I could ask. How many videos do you think you've watched? I don't know. 
Maybe like 10, 12. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's good. That's a good start. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I just started though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just trying absolutely. to get feelers out there. I mean, it, it is, uh, it's reassuring and just impressive overall. Like just having a conversation with you, being in the business two and a half months, like the, you guys can hear it. Like you're listening to the Rising Star podcast, you're watching. Like there's some key things that she's doing really well that you need to be picking up on. Yeah, she's not a gazillionaire yet, but she's committed the process. She's listening. She's reading. She's investing. Like you're spending your own money. Yeah. On leads. And that's the problem too with new agents. Yeah. That they want. And me too. I was like, okay, you, yeah, you provide my leads and I'll do it. But then it's like, okay, but they're providing your leads. They're getting more of a portion out of your sale. Mm -hmm. And eventually you're going to get super good. And you don't want to give them 20, 30, 40%. Or whatever it is, you know, just go save up some money, so buy your smart. leads, so smart. go out there and door knock like you did, soup kitchens, go to your church, whatever it is. Yep. You know, <clears throat> you can do it. That's so smart. And I, I love it. You're encouraging everybody. This is good. And <laughs> it is smart to not give up a bunch of your comp if you don't have to. Yeah. You know, like that makes a lot of sense. I respect that a bunch. Um, Man, this has been fun. Have you guys enjoyed this episode? Okay. What do you think of this episode so far? About 26 minutes in so far. I think it's good. <clears throat> Better or worse than expected? It's chill. It's okay. good. Yeah, it should be chill, right? It yeah. should be easy. Um, if you could say one thing to someone out there that is in your shoes exactly, but maybe they don't have a full-time job. Maybe they've been in it two and a half months and they have made no sales or one okay they don't have the money and they're strongly considering quitting okay my number one thing okay. would be once you stop believing in yourself you lose so don't lose that mm. continue to believe Good. in yourself you can overcome it don't do you watch bradley ever yeah okay yeah, i, I watch a lot of him it yes and who we are is the things we've experienced, the things that have came into our mind. So just fill your mind with good stuff. Fill your mind with motivational stuff like Brad Lee, Steve Harvey, you. Um, I just got put in the same sentence as Steve Harvey, Dylan. That's he's good. great though. I love Steve Steve's Harvey Steve's phenomenal. So much. No, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that as a joke. Like I'm, I'm not, I mean, compared to Steve Harvey, like I should. Well, you're the in the sentence, industry, but, yeah, you know. You no, might not I, be as big as Steve Harvey, but you no. are successful for sure for... Thanks the insurance industry you know he's awesome though yeah so there was a specific it's funny you mentioned that it was a specific keynote uh interview that he did at 10x cardone's conference back in i i've listened to it multiple times back in maybe i'll find something on youtube actually back in 2019 unbelievable yeah like he's unreal he's 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 the dude's really good so that's why i stopped you because yeah. he's, he's awesome he's so awesome yeah i don't know what you're saying i interrupted oh that's okay but it was one phenomenal. of the things he says is you know you're never going to get successful being in your comfort zone so hey, mm. i'm here how hard is that to force yourself out of it you just got to do it you just got to fill your well, mind what, with what's things. happening in your brain though like what's 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 i want to get there i want to get there i want to be successful i want to make a million dollars i want to have my yes. own business i want to make nonprofit organizations. What if you go four years and you haven't? I'm going to. So four years is a long time to not be successful. Dude, I better have very tripled time. my income by then for sure. You should have. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> yeah. What do you make of Bank of America? I just make like 32. Okay. Yeah. Not much. There's no doubt the you should be making though. six figures by then. Easy. And I, technically, yeah, you'd have to give up your job and invest more and see more people per week. But you could, no doubt, if you could do 1600 bucks in a day with Dallas, right? In half yeah. a day or whatever, a couple knocks. You could do that every single week. That's my plan is once I start generating enough that I can be like, okay, I've got enough in savings, I can quit. Yep. And then I can continue to put enough in leads mm -hmm. that I get back. That's that's my plan. My could you all plan. survive without your income? No, not right now. Okay. If you could, I was going to say, it's time to quit. Let's call Bank of America on, would... on, the, on the phone right no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, if we could, then I would quit for sure and spend all day good. door knocking, going to businesses, the yeah. works, but no. That's good. That's good. And well, Steve says like, you've got to jump in your life. I'm not going to jump though. Not and, yet. <laughs> and put now, myself now, in a bad spot. You were listening to Steve Harvey. Now you're not. No, well, no, kidding. jump. Yes. You know, he was homeless for three years and lived in his car. I don't want to be homeless with two kids and live in my car. I don't blame you. <laughs> so I'm going to stay in my little bubble. You. And then yeah. once I can pop it, then I'll go. <laughs> How much? Is there a certain amount of um, time or money 
that when you do hit that point, you're going full-time insurance. Is there a number? Have you have you put it down to where like when this happens, I'm doing this? I haven't really put so it down. So that there is a, you know what I mean? Because it, it could just keep dragging well, on. Well, no. I mean, once okay. I make over what I make now in a month, I'm going to quit. So okay. once I make over like $2,500, yep. I'm going to quit. Okay. But what's, I what's, just want it to be consistent. You know, yeah. it can't just be one month that I make twenty five hundred dollars. Okay, and then the next month I so make thirty six hundred, and then the next month I make forty two. How many months? I don't know, Cody. Three. I mean, it just is. I'm helping you jump here. Okay, I'm helping you make the leap. Yes, I haven't really sat down and thought three about it just row. because I. Three months in a row, twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, three months in a row, twenty five hundred bucks. I quit for 100%. sure. One hundred percent. Yeah. What about two months? I've just got to make sure that I've got leads coming in. So three. I can't quit and not have leads coming in. I agree. And then not have work to do. Yeah. I can quit and then I get all this my leads. This is getting good, by the way. Can you feel it? This is <laughs> well, getting good. Well, I could quit and I could get all my leads and then I could really suck or, you know, yes. something horrible could happen to my life and I would just not make a sale. Well, we hope that doesn't Well, it's not. But, but you know what I mean? Like I, I could do. just I do. be really bad in a presentation and do poorly. And then there's yeah. my $500 for leads out the door because I suck this month. You know, you've got to be smart. You can't just fly when you want to jump. <laughs> what's it. what's down there? Yeah. You know, you got to make sure is that snow? Is that water? Here. What's going on? <laughs> That's good. All right. I've enjoyed this. You enjoyed this? Yeah, it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. Any final words for the audience that is also maybe, maybe they're not even as good as you yet. You know, I'm not good yet. I maybe they're a little better than you. Whatever. Hey, that's good right? for you. Maybe you could teach me something. Um, one thing I'd say is if you are not yet licensed and want to be licensed, one thing that was really beneficial for me to study for my test mm. was AmericanProfessors.com. I've never heard of that website. Yeah, for real. Ever. They have a whole... Make sure they sponsor this episode. Yeah. <laughs> Give me an extra 20 cents per view or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be okay with that. But what they have is they have like a whole... It's like a class. You're at home though. Yeah. And you can... Every day I would... It's a video. You get a booklet. Is it live? No, it's it's pre-recorded it's videos. Pre-recorded online. Yeah, it's all on you your time. You can follow along with like a workbook and stuff. Yep, you follow along with a workbook. He makes it very simple and plain. Tells you what's on the test. How long did you study? Like how many weeks oh, or like days or three months? Two months probably. Oh, so Every day, my time. husband would come home. He'd take the kids. I'd go in the bedroom and I'd study. Wow. Yeah. You are really serious about this thing. You're freaking committed. It's gonna happen Kudos for me to you. one day. Heck yeah. I'll interview you. <laughs> now Maybe we're we'll talking. have Steve Harvey. Me, you, and Steve Harvey will hang oh out. Oh my gosh. Where, I would where, have a where, where are we sitting? Are we in my office? Are we in your office? You're, I don't know. We'll probably be in his office. He lives in LA. He's got the big one. We'll be in his office. <laughs> You're going to be bigger than him, this. You don't know, right? What would we, uh, man, at what point? He's great. At what point? Let's go ahead and put it on, on camera. When you make six figures, okay. we come back and you interview me. Okay. Done? That'd be good. Okay. In a couple Done. years. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Boom. You never know what we're going to do on the Rising Star Podcast. We're going to have some fun though. Okay. Awesome job. Thank you for being on. Thank you. Yeah. Be You've been it's awesome. It's been great. Good. Good. Appreciate you. I wish you all the success in the world. You got to keep at it. Keep doing it. Three months in a row, we're quitting the job. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Bank of America. I love you. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I don't even have anything at Bank of America, but whatever. Okay. Thanks for listening to Rising Star Podcast. I love this. Hope you do too. Okay. We want to highlight stories of people that are wanting to do something big. We see a lot of potential in them, whether they see the potential in themselves or not. We want to help find things that can help you by listening and really showcase people in the industry that are about to do something special and everybody can feel it. Okay. So thanks for listening to Rising Star. If you would like to be in the hot seat or you'd love to be on in Rising Star and getting trained every Monday, okay, go to CodyAskins.com forward slash Rising Star. Right now at the time of this airing, it's only $88 a month. It's insane. It's crazy. Camille, if they were thinking about joining Rising Star, what would you say? You should do it. You should there do it. There are lots of people that you can learn from that get to come on and speak. Boom. Good you should do it. C Camille's. If, if I can't sell you, maybe Camille did. Okay. All right. <laughs> See you on the next Rising Star episode. Pre appreciate you being on it. Appreciate you listening. See you next Friday, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Appreciate you. If you love this video, you know I got another one that you're going to love. I got a video just to your right, right here. Click on that. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. And I'll see you there. We're about to show you another behind the scenes clip of the Rising Star Training Program. And on this clip, okay, we're, we're about to talk to my business partner, Landon McCarter, about the number 